In today's lesson, we are looking at reviewing just kind of the basic idea of a logarithm. So to start out, we're converting between logarithmic form and exponential form. So logarithms are really just inverses of an exponential function. So a logarithm looks like this. This is log and it has a base b of x equals y. So this is true if we have base b to the power of y equals x. So when we are evaluating logarithms, we often convert them to its exponential form to evaluate them. So what I mean by that, here's an example. If I have log base 3 of 81, if we convert this to its exponential form, it's base 3, base 3 to what power is equal to 81, and we should know that 3 to the 4th power is 81. Okay, so here's another example, log with a base 5 of square root of 5. So convert it, this is base 5, base 5 to what power equals the square root of 5? Well, square root means anything to the power of 1 half. So 5 to the power of 1 half equals the square root of 5. Let's keep going. Log base 7 of 1 over 49. 7 to what power equals 1 over 49? So that would be y to the power of negative 2. And last example, this form, if I just have log of 100,000, when there is no base, that's called a common logarithm, so that is base 10. So 10 to what power is 100,000? Well, here you can just count your zero, so that would be 5. Okay, so now we're looking at just some basic properties. These are ones that you'll just kind of need to memorize, but you can also, as long as you understand how to convert, they're easy to figure out. So if you have log of any base of one, that always equals zero. Let's think about why that would be base b to the power of zero equals one, and anything to the power of zero equals one. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna repeat these properties for common logarithms and natural logarithms. So common logarithm just means base 10. So log of 1 equals 0 because 10 to the power of 0 is 1. And then natural log, natural log just means it has base e. So we write it as ln. So ln of 1 also equals 0 because e to the power of 0 equals 1. Okay, next one, if we have log base b of b, then your answer has to be 1. That would be b to the power of 1 has to equal b. That makes perfect sense. So if you have log of 10, that equals 1, because that's a common log, has base 10 to the power of 1 is 10. And then if you have the natural log of e, that equals 1, because base e to the power of 1 is e. And if you have log base b of b to the x, that will always equal x, because b to the power of x equals b to the power of x. So on the common logarithm, if you have log of 10 to the x, it simply will equal x because 10 to the x equals 10 to the x. Same thing for natural log. If you have ln of e to the x, it equals x. It's almost like these are just canceling out because e to the x equals e to the x. And last basic property, if you have base b to the power of log base b of x, that will also just equal x. It's like this also cancels it out. This is an exponential form, so if you change it to logarithmic form, 
that's like log base b of x equals log base b of x. So it's like these also cancel out, just kind of equals x. Same thing, so if you have 10 to the power of common log x, it is just going to equal x. And if you have e to the power of oops, natural log of x, that will also equal x. And then this last property is true for when x is greater than 0. Okay, I'm just going to do six quick examples. So log of 0 0.001. So you have a choice, common logarithms, you can just type in your calculator. Anytime you have base 10, you could just punch it in your calculator, your calculator will do that. But if we didn't have a calculator, this would be 10 to what power equals, let's see, 10th, 100 thousandths, that's one, 1 thousandths, so y equals negative three. Okay, ln natural log of e to the power of 0.73. Anytime you have natural log of something e, they cancel out, so you're just left with 0 0.73. Okay, what if you just have natural log of 4? There's no fancy property. This is like saying e to what power is 4, but remember e is, you know, about 2 point, that irrational number. This one, you just type it in your calculator. Find the natural log button, type in natural log of 4, and you're going to get that it's about 1.39. Okay, so now log base 4 of negative 3. So 4 to what power equals negative 3? Well, you cannot, if your base is positive, no exponent exists that could give you a negative number. So this is not possible. You could just write no solution. Okay, what about log of base 125 of 5? So 125 to what power equals 5? Well, I know the cube root of 125 is 5, and cube root is the same thing as to the power of 1 third. Okay, last example. What if we have log of base 1 third? of 1 27th. So 1 third to what power is 1 27th? Well, if you raise it just to the third power, and you would cube both of those to get this. So there is your full video. I'm just kind of reviewing basic logarithms. Good luck.